Hey guys, it's Sam for Digital Meat, and in this quick tip video for Cinema 4D, I want to talk about um, what you can do when you get a crash, and I also want to talk about the um, auto save feature very quickly. Okay, so let's just jump straight in. I'm just going to create a cube in a scene and maybe give it a fillet. It really doesn't matter what this is, it's just so that we've got something in our scene. And I'm going to save this on my... Um, Desktop, I've created a folder called Auto Save Test, and uh, I'm just going to call this, uh, let's just call this Auto Save. Okay. That'll do. Auto Save Test, yeah, there we go, and just save that. So now we've got this saved, and you can see up here Auto Save Test. Now, um, we'll come to why I've done that in a minute. First, I want to talk about crashes. If you've ever suffered a crash in Cinema 4D and you think, oh God, I've done like an hour's work and that's all just gone down the toilet. What am I going to do? There may be a possibility that um, you can actually retrieve that data. And uh, it depends on how your machine has crashed. If it's Cinema 4D that's crashed, um, I've, I've got to be honest, I've not had it very often. And when I have got a crash in Cinema 4D, it's usually due to a plug-in conflict or something like that. But if Cinema 4D itself has crashed, you will probably be able to uh, recover your data. Um, if your machine has locked up, your actual computer has crashed, then you're probably not going to be able to. But if Cinema 4D does crash, not your machine, you can go to Edit, Preferences. And if you uh, go down here where it says Open Preferences folder, uh, this will pop up. And if you go into bug reports, this is where it will save your scene. So if Cinema 4D suffers a crash, it will do an emergency save here. And that's where you'll find your um, your file. Hopefully it's not corrupted. Hopefully everything works out fine. But that's just to let you know that, you know, if you do get a crash in Cinema 4D, this is where you go to to try and uh, recover any data that you feel you might have lost. Um, and the other thing I wanted to talk about was the autosave feature. This will basically help negate having to go to this bug report thing um, because you can set Cinema 4D to save for you regularly. Um, so if I go to Files here, we've got this section here called Autosave. And so let's just click Save On. And this basically tells it, yes, I'd like to autosave every and this is in minutes. I've put it right down to one. I think its default is five minutes, but let's put it down to one minute. So we want to save this scene every one minute and limit. You can limit how many files it saves. So I've set this to three. I think it's set to 10 by, yeah, default. But the great thing about this limit feature is what it will do is it will save three copies of your file and when it gets to this limit and it goes to save another one, it will delete the oldest file and then save a new one. Underneath here, we have prod, uh, we've have we got this save to. And at the moment, it's saying project directory. We've got a couple of options in here, user directory, custom directory. So um, project directory will be wherever your Cinema 4D scene is saved. Um, this will basically save your backup files there. What it will do is it will create a folder called backup and then save your um, these automatic uh, these auto saves to that backup folder. Next we have user directory. I think that is uh, basically here. I think it's saved in here, this, uh, this backup. To, as far as I'm aware, I've never used it. Or you can say custom directory, so you can actually set where you want it to save. I usually use project directory because then what will happen is I'll have, this is my project directory, I'll have my save and then there'll be a folder in here called backup and uh, Cinema 4D will automatically save to that directory. So I'm just going to come out of this. So we've got save on, we've got limit to three. It's going to save every one minute to the project directory. And I'm just going to come going to come out of that and let's open up our test folder. And I'm actually going to wait for this to um, save. I'll, I'll fast forward. 
Okay, you can see that automatically this backup folder has just appeared. And if I go in there, we've got an auto save here. And you'll notice that it's a file type that um, Cinema 4D doesn't recognize. And that's because it's auto save test, which is its name, and then .c4d. And then afterwards, we've got at and then a bunch of numbers. Um, now, let me see. This is 2018, the fourth month and the 20th day. So that's today's date. And uh, what's this? 210503. I'm not actually sure what that is. Um, that's probably the time, actually. Let's have a look. Yeah, so it's tr uh, so that's 2105. So that's um, 9 o'clock, 5 minutes past 9. And that's how many seconds on the end. So you've got the date and you've got the time here. So let's just wait for the next one. Okay, we've got another save here. And you'll notice by the time that it's actually much uh, more than a minute, which is what I set it to. It says 2110. So that's 5 minutes. Uh, and the reason for that is I've realized that if uh, C4D isn't the window that's actually active, that it, it doesn't um, auto-save. So that's just something to bear in mind there. So what will happen is we'll get this, we'll get, an, um, you know, we've got these two, we'll get another one, which will be the newest one. And then our limit is three. So when a new newer one comes in, it'll delete the oldest one and then... Uh, it will get replaced by the one next to it and obviously it will create a new one so you'll always have three um, you may want to have more than that uh, I think the default is ten so you get ten of these and then it starts overwriting the oldest one so if you ever get a crash or anything like that you can always revert back to one of these now obviously this is a file type that um, isn't being detected and it's because of this string of crap after the .c4d so if we wanted to actually use this we could rename this and go here and take all of that off yes I do want to change it and now it's a usable file let's test that by closing this file do I want to change it uh, save it no I don't and now we can open this up boom and there's our file back okay guys so that was it um, as always uh, check out digitalme.uk you can follow me on social media there'll be links in the description and uh, if you want to support me or get a little bit of extra content, you can um, go to patreon.com. Uh, there'll be a link for that on screen after this video. But uh, it's a dollar a month and you'll get extra content and bits and bobs like that. Okay, cheers for listening, guys. Bye. <laughs>